Now, after over a month of relentless bombardment and an assault which left the city of Mariupol almost completely destroyed, Russian forces are on the brink of capturing the city completely. Ukrainian forces in Mariupol have posted on Facebook that they were completely surrounded by Russian troops and that ammunition was fast running out. This despite America and NATO allies pledging more weapons to Ukraine in the last week alone. Pro-Russian rebels on Monday claimed that the separatist forces have already taken control of the port of Mariupol and Russia is believed to be trying to connect the regions of Crimea, which is under its control, to the region of Donbass, largely controlled by Russian-backed separatists. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said that Russian forces could use chemical weapons in Mariupol. He did not say, however, whether any chemical weapons had already been used. Сьогодні ж з боку окупантів пролунала нова заява, яка свідчить про підготовку ними нового етапу терору проти України та наших захисників. Один з рупорів окупантів заявив про те, що вони можуть застосувати хімічну зброю проти захисників Маріуполя. Розглядаємо це максимально серйозно. Хочу нагадати світовим лідерам, що можливе застосування хімічної зброї російськими військовими вже обговорювалося. І вже на той час це означало, що потрібно реагувати на російську агресію значно жорсткіше і швидше. Britain has said that it is trying to verify reports that Russia has used chemical weapons in Mariupol. This comes after Ukraine's Azov battalion claimed that a Russian drone had dropped a poisonous substance on troops and civilians in Mariupol. The forces also claimed that people were experiencing respiratory failure and neurological problems. Mariupol has been completely flattened over the last seven weeks. And President Zelensky said that tens of thousands of people have been killed in the city. Once a city of 400,000 people, the remaining 100,000 civilians are trapped without food, water, electricity and heating. After withdrawing forces from northern Ukraine, Russia's main objective now is eastern Ukraine. It is demanding that Kiev give up control over large swathes of territory in the region of Donbass. Meanwhile, Ukraine's Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba said that he is still open to negotiating with Moscow. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov on Monday brushed off any possibility of a ceasefire, saying that while Moscow is open to peace talks with Kiev, that does not mean that the war would be halted. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.